Hey there, internet land. This is Mark from the ATV guys, and I'm with Jason today. Say hi, Jason. And guess what we're doing? We're out. We're out uh, doing some uh, some testing of a brand new machine that was just launched, and we're at uh, an ATV uh, ATV clubhouse. We're live, and check this out. This is the all new. Textron Prowler Pro XT. Just about the quietest ATV or UTV I have ever sampled in 30 years in the business. This thing is just pretty awesome. For a workhorse, it's uh, it's doing a job. It's, it's awesome. It's just awesome. It's whisper quiet. It's got some really, really stout suspension work on it. Check this out. Just check out the rear suspension on this thing. Look at those A-arms and check out where they routed the rear axles. They're actually out in front and fully protected by either this, the A-arms, but the way the angle is set is pretty impressive on this thing. Barely in any angle at all. And I like the angle of the shocks. Actually, this thing is very, very smooth on the trails. We we, <laughs> we rode pretty hard on our way down. And uh, it's it's very quiet. Hey, Jason. Yeah. You want to start her, start her up? Yeah, no. <laughs> <laughs> Check this out. Listen, listen to this. This is about the quietest engine I have ever sampled. <laughs> Give it gas a bit. This is as loud as it's gonna get. Trust me. <laughs> and this little beast, we'll see if we can open up the rear without putting all our stuff on the ground. Got all, all sorts of stuff here. Check this out. This is a an engine, a three cylinder, uh, 822 cc's. Yeah. 822 cc's with a 50 horsepower, and everything is all in. It's a one piece design. Well, transmission is bolted on to the engine. And check this out. It's a CVT drive. Really, really easy to open. Maintenance is going to be awesome. I'm actually talking to you with the engine running. Can you believe this? Whisper quiet. And, you know, everything is built extremely stout. Check out the weld quality on these things. You know, the, way, the way these are built, this is the first, I think it's the first UTV that's a full-on design by Textron. All the other machines before were designs that were either leftover from Articat or Bad Boy Motors, where, which is the Stampede, Stampede platform. So the Stampede and the, the Havoc are built on a Stampede platform, which is, comes from another company. So this is the first full-on design from Textron. Very simplistic up front. You have four-wheel drive, two-wheel drive, and you can lock and unlock the rear diff so you have a turf mode and lights <laughs> that's it that's the only switches there's two uh two cigarette lighter plugs we, we don't call them that anymore accessory 12 volt accessory and the ignition switch that's about it and to be brutally honest this thing is pretty damn good looking i like the look of it Hey, Robert Fraser. Yeah, well, uh, I am impressed. So, yeah. Uh, what's the top speed you got out of it, uh, Robert? Because we can't uh, we can't use top speed here. It's uh, it's still in. Uh, I test in the fuel pump. Yeah, we'll 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 test it out later. But this is the all new Textron Prowler Pro XT, the first full on design, I think from Textron. It's just 
very, very impressively good. Now check this out. This thing's got a, a, a stock bumper up front and it's no plasticky finimajig. It's steel. Real steel bumpers. And everything up there is, and you even got towing hooks. Yeah. It's got towing hooks. Stock right out of the box. So, really easy to, uh, to tie down on your trailer and stuff. Or pull out your buddies. But this thing is incredibly strong. So, Robert says he got 80 kph out of it. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Got 80 kph. So, we'll see a little bit later. 80? Seats are pretty good, by the way. Uh, it's 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 a workbench. Right? It's it's a work seat. Don't expect the ultra. Uh, oh yeah, <laughs> check this out. Little cubby hidden here behind. So you got this little storage compartment. You got a glove box in there. It's pretty. Uh, it's pretty. It's pretty nice. Put a lot of stuff in there. So this is it. You got a little bit more storage down here, but it's very very simple storage. You can remove the front seats. For wash. For washing or just if you need to if you need more stuff to carry around so it gives you a whole lot more a whole lot more to carry around all in all I'm, I'm, I'm impressed I'm impressed the suspension is very 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 good I like it I like it I like it a lot yep you like it uh, Jason yeah your uncle, uh, your uncle up north might even do the switch, right? Pardon? Your 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 uncle is riding a Ranger, Ranger yeah, Four, yeah, right? Yeah, riding a Ranger, Polaris, and a Defender Canon. So this is, I think, it's similar that the Polaris Ranger. Yeah, it's a similar platform. Yeah. Very. So I maybe have more torque with this. I think I think there's more torque in this engine. Yeah. The the uh, the, the thousand XT uh, Polaris is going to be a lump. A lot more top end. It, it can actually hit 100 clicks. Uh, but when you put the accelerator, it starts slowly. Oh, yeah. yeah, it's very very smooth, and there, there's yeah. no uh, there's no there's no spunk in it. it. It just goes. Yeah. By the way, we were talking to you with the engine on. <laughs> yeah, the, the environment. Yeah. Take care of the environment. And this thing is going to be really uh, economical on fuel because I've I've ridden these engines before in uh, Discovery UTV here in Quebec. There's a lot of these things around. They look like a little uh, Chinese Jeep, and uh, I've sampled that engine uh, for quite a few quite a few miles, and uh, it's very 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 economical in fuel. So fueling is very nice. Uh, you can actually pack two thousand pounds in that box. Uh, I'm sorry, a thousand pounds, a thousand pounds in a box, yeah. and you can pull two thousand pounds. You can trailer through two thousand pounds with it. Yeah, that's it. All capacity one five on the. On the, the full capacity yeah. is a, a thousand five, so uh, thousand thousand uh, thousand pounds of payload and uh, two two hundred fifty pound guys up front, and that's it. Me and you. Yeah, me and you. That's that's about the <laughs> that's about the right weight. But you see, that this is an automotive type engine. So, these engines are made by Cherry Motors. Uh, they're Chinese made, but the design comes from a very well-known company. And uh, that's it, uh, Robert Fraser, he drove 120 clicks and burnt a quarter tank of fuel. So that, it's the same thing as in the Discovery. It's very, very economical in fuel. So, yeah, we'll be uh, bringing you our full test report on this thing very, very soon. But I'm very, very, very impressed, Textron. You, uh, you did a good job on this one. And something I used to criticize a lot about Articat machines is the fit and finish. And this one is impeccable. Assembly is nice. Weld quality is excellent. You know, you, you only notice these things if you're in the business or once you own one, actually. And I've been in the biz for like 30 years, 33 this year. And I've been noticing some good things about Textron. Look at the angle of the shocks here up front. This is the proper angle. So that's why this thing handles so good. 
It's got a sway bar up front. And I like the way everything is built really, really stout. This thing is going to be able to take a pretty decent hit before, uh, before getting damaged. And all the frame is square tubing. Very, very large. Now, I like this very much. You know, I think, I think Textron actually hit a home run with this thing. Now, if it does 80 and it can sustain 80 all day long as a workhorse, it can it can do a bit of a trail machine job. But this is a workhorse. But I, I just look at that suspension in the back. It's the proper angle on shocks. This thing handles like a beast. There's no sway bars. There is no sway bar out back. Gosh darn it. I like this. There's there's a kind of a cross. You see, you see how the table the, the, the A arms are built? They're actually for the, the other side, they're hooking up here and they're going down there. So he makes these A arms very, very long, the bottom part. Which is gonna make this thing a lot more stable. Wow, I'm impressed, Textron. Good job. Oh yeah, I need to talk about these things. Finally, this is rubber from the company Armstrong. And Textron actually put some really good quality rubber on this thing. It's nice, soft. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, it's a radio, so let me take a peek. <laughs> no, it's a, it's a bias ply. But it rides very, very good. I am impressed, again. One thing I don't like, though. What in darnation is this? It looks like a tractor handle. I don't like it. Uh, makes it a little bit cheap. I already told the guy from Textron I didn't like these. But that's about the only thing I don't like about it. And check out the way this thing is built back there. So uh, a two inch, uh, two inch hitch receiver. This is the shizzle. <laughs> to find, not to say the words, but I'm very, very impressed about this machine and it's dead quiet. So stay tuned, keep up with us on, uh, on Facebook. We also have a new uh, YouTube channel. So we're gonna put the videos up there. And uh, thanks a lot for being there, guys. So this is Mark and Jason from the ATV guys. And we're signing off. Ciao.